Hello, welcome to Sorted Food. This is Fridge Cam. Let's get ready to rumble. I'm so sorry for what you're about to see. Welcome to the last time in season three that these guys will go head to head to head in an ultimate battle. Woo! Barry's really nervous, he's got jelly legs. <laughs> As ever, they are playing for brownie points, but this is their last chance to get brownie points on the league. The theme is grilled cheese, and because it's so simple, there will be brownie points up for grabs based on concept, execution and delivery, and any questions answered correctly, they ask them about their ingredients. Go. Right, so, we've already been dicks to each other already, and it hasn't <laughs> even begun. I'm nervous in this one. I'm not, I am confident. That's because yours is done in 30 seconds. That's because mine's ultimate. We also need to get changed. Do we? I'm less confident about that part. I've done this here. Oh my god! <laughs> the fact is, it's not even like a legitimate one, it's a slutty one. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you not so many mouths. <laughs> oh, no, don't no, do that. Stop it. <laughs> there might have been a mix up when I <clears throat> ordered my costume. This is a Missy Mouse costume. Whereas I went for a Michael Mouse costume. Yep. <laughs> Peter Pan went into a fetish club. <laughs> I didn't feel any need to get dressed up. Every time I've got dressed up, it has taken away points, not given them to me. So I'm focusing on the food. Right, can we just focus on this? Right, do you know what that looks like? <laughs> Pudding. It looks like when you're five years old and in primary school, they try to get you into cooking in food tech. No! I really hope your wife goes into labour <laughs> and you have to rush off. That is an actual thing that could happen. <laughs> Lucy's due to give birth any minute now. And I may have to, I may get called away. You talk through your recipe first because it looks wrong. I am making a grilled cheese cake donut. The reason this is gonna win a grilled cheese battle, because it looks just like a grilled cheese. But for the centre, I've got cheesecake, a lemon <sighs> zesty cheesecake. And for the outside, a delicious jam donut. They change colour. I know! <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of brownie points for Mike. Oh! Is that because Ben chose your costume? <laughs> now the costume may be a bit OTT, but, oh no, he's unzipped me. He's unzipped me. Wow. Do you know it took Mike half an hour to get me into this dress? <laughs> Mini needs a back wax. <laughs> My grilled cheese is ultimate perfection because the ultimate grilled cheese is the one that you can make at home in the space of three minutes. Bread, cheese, butter. Oh my goodness. Let me talk you through this grilled cheese. Swiss inspired, we got Zop bread, which isn't really Zop bread, it's actually brioche, but it's knotted in the same way. We've got sauerkraut, which is actually from Germany, but the Swiss eat it and they eat it hot. We've got salami, which is supposed to be like Severlat, which is a, a spiced Swiss ham. Um, I've got Gruyere and I've got Raclette. I think. Hey, Switzerland does border all of those countries. Exactly, that's true, isn't it? Right, potatoes from Ireland. Um, <laughs> It starts by making a potato rosti. Potatoes go in the microwave for 15 minutes. Once they cooled a bit, I'm gonna grate them, throw in some butter, mix it up, fry them in a pan. Step one to making the ultimate grilled cheese. White bread. If it's stale, it's even better. Butter both sides of both slices of bread. That looks delicious. Horrific. Oh, really? Yeah. And this is how I made it. I've got some mascarpone and ricotta, mixed it in a bowl, What's mixed it with some ice and sugar some vanilla extract and some lemon zest and just a, a touch of yellow dye. Just a touch. Massively important step coming up. We're gonna cook it on the lowest heat. So basically you're gonna cook the outside so slowly that the inside still melts. Then we'll butter the top, flip it over. Ultimate grilled cheese. Okay, Jay, while you wait for the first side to cook, yeah. your chance for the Curveball brownie point. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you didn't have many ingredients to write a question about, so I've gone for cheddar. Okay. Some lovely cheddar. That's a David Stowe Cornish. Yep. It comes from Canada as well, but it originally comes from Cheddar Gorge, which is yep. based in which UK county? Gonna rush a little mousy brain. I think I know. Is it Somerset? 
You do get a brownie point. Yes! <laughs> Did you? Yeah, cheddar gorge. <laughs> what I'm doing here is making a circular potato rosti, and then I'm making a more traditional slap it on and poke it down potato rosti because my sandwich is going to be square, so I want to cut this into a square so it perfectly tessellates. I've cut my donuts in half. I've spread them with my cream cheese filling. Then I've got some white chocolate and marshmallows on top. Now it's time to sandwich them, get some butter in the pan, and start frying them. Given that you've just put it in the pan, National Donut Day what? was invented by the Salvation Army in Chicago in 1938. But which month of the year does it fall in? Are you kidding every me? Every year. Baz, this is great. We've been to Chicago. May. It's wrong. It's very close, but it is not the right answer. It's gutting. It was. That is June. not. And the reason, the reason not I thought knowledge. you would know it is because I right. experienced National Donut Day in Chicago in Lost and Hungry Tour, and you edited the blog. Oh. You've had experience of it, Barry. Come on, Barry. Yeah, I should, have, I should have remembered that. Ben's been there. It was... Technique number two for making the ultimate grilled cheese is actually toasting the inside of the bread as well as the outside. So what I've done is buttered one side of bread, put it down. Now I'm going to take it back out, grate the cheese onto the top, butter the top side that's not buttered or cooked, and then cook that. I'll tell you what, this grilled cheese lark is complicated. How many times? Has he left his hob on again? This is what he does. The cheese from a grilled cheese comes in two Swiss parts. One, Gruyere, but first, raclette, which is a semi-hard cow's milk, and it's really cheesy, and you melt it on a little thing, and it slides right off. Who turned my hob off? The people that were standing here whilst you were, I don't know what you I'm were trying doing. trying to cook. Time. I was sweating out my lederhosen. Yeah. That's good. Oh. Oh, mate, that's a lot to eat. Dirty little mouse. Oh, I love this cheese. This is one of my favourites. Good, good, good. good However, to hear. Gruyere is also one of your favourites, I've heard. You're balancing it out with salami, mustard, and sauerkraut. Mm. Sauerkraut yep. is preserved cabbage. Yes. How is it preserved? By fermenting it, Ben. It's easy. Brownie point. Boom! <laughs> Did we both get brownie points? Right, I get a feeling my question reflects how my how I've done in battles in recent recent times. What, what you talking about? Absolutely failed. No. I tried what? to give you one I thought you might Absolute know. Absolute rubbish. Oh, oh, it's getting there. Oh. Katie's feeling sorry for you and thinks you should get another question. No, no I'm, not, I'm not taking another question. No, no, it's no, fine. No. If, yeah. no, no, if you need it, <laughs> if, you, if you need it, have another question. Okay. I, don't want, I don't want another question. Yeah, go on, have another question. No, I don't want another question because I might look silly. <laughs> 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 National Donut Day was invented or introduced in Chicago in 1938. It falls on the first Friday of June every year. But who introduced it? That I told you only three minutes ago. I don't, don't know. She said ask it again. <laughs> 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 but, but leave out the year. <laughs> on, I'm literally... Third chance. chance. I'm, not, I'm not listening third, to any of these questions. Third chance, come on. Third chance. Third chance. Okay, cool. I think I'm... OK. The Salvation Army introduced National Donut Day in Chicago. Salvation Army. On the first Friday June. of June every year. What? But which year did it begin? He's told you twice. <laughs> 19. 40. 1. No. Third time lucky. You can't say we're not giving you can't say we're not making this. Was fair. it 1939? No. Was it 1938? Yes. yes. Another brownie point for yes. Jamie! Oh, yes. <laughs> did you punch my grilled cheese? No! <laughs> I'm You're gonna... not getting another brownie point for that. No, I don't need another one. My raclette is melted. Look at this. And now, I'm going to slide it off. So now, salami. That's a German salami. This one's German, like they speak in Swiss. Sauerkraut. Grilled cheese number two. Done.
Before we get to the judging, I have a second costume that turned out me? halfway through the battle. And I thought just to give yourself a fighting chance, it might be worth you dressing oh, up. Oh, whatever. I don't care. It's in, yeah, the, no, sure. it's in the bathroom. Sure. Oh, there she Very is. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. How do you solve a problem like Maria? So you guys have already got a point today from answering your question right. You did have three chances, I'm sorry. So how many points have you got now? However, Barry, you are at the bottom of the leaderboard. But 12. there's 5. only a few points between you and Mike currently. I don't want to lose! And, and Jamie's up front. I've got a chef versus chef battle coming soon, so I get more chance of any points, but now we're judging the food. No. Jamie. Ben, what we have here is the ultimate classic grilled cheese. Now, a grilled cheese is the simplest of all sandwiches. <laughs> like with a burrito battle, Sometimes going classic leaves you nowhere to hide. That is a grilled cheese. That is a grilled cheese. That takes me back to my childhood. Mm. Good, strong cheddar, buttered white bread. It's nostalgic. It's done pretty well. Is it good enough for a battle? In Barry's own words, that is a grilled cheese. And I look forward to continuing this judging process to see if we can say the same about the remaining two. This one. I really like. I like the smell as it's cooking. The whole place smells like a fondue. It's strong cheese. It's grilled cheese. It's got a nice, crusty, crispy, dark outside. <laughs> oh, I've turned it upside down. That was a mistake. Even I like that. The potato cake, rushy thing is delicious. The salami is incredible. The mustard, a nice touch. I have to this quite a bit lot of sandwich. is really good. Where'd the rest go? I don't want to consume more charcoal. That's fine. There have been times when you have stretched the brief before. Yep. Technically, there's two types of cheeses in between bread and it's been grilled, so I'm happy with that. Hear that? I question why it's been made luminous. Well, I wanted to emulate the look. <laughs> it was originally an Oreo, and it was brown, but it looked more like a burger, so therefore, I want to make it more like a cheese. A lot of lemon. Very fresh. Love lemon. It's kind of cheesecakey. Needs to be served warm like the rest. Before I release my brownie points, I'm going to make it clear. You guys do get a vote too. You can use the poll on YouTube. Now that doesn't always count for brownie points. Today, we're going to take the winning percentage from that poll after 48 hours of publishing, oh. and they will get two brownie points. Oh. Oh. Two brownie points. Like no. it. Like it. But my brownie points today, it has to be the Swiss one. Yes. It has to be the Swiss one. Even though that was clever, that was brave, but maybe a step too far. Wait, let me do the maths on this. I've lost. Half a point. There's no, there's no way that there's you no can way catch back. up. Don't vote for me. I'm done for. Do you know the <laughs> irony? He would still be in if he'd got one of his three questions right. Yeah. Oh! And we gave him the answer on one and two. <laughs> so long, farewell, a vida sem adieu. Oh, Seriously no. though, this now does need your vote, so comment down below who's your favourite and make sure you vote on the poll. You can get all the recipes downstairs. That is also not the end of the brownie leaderboard. We haven't got any more chances to win, but Ebers can win the whole thing when he does a chef versus chef battle against James coming soon. In the meantime, we're going to get talking to you because us three and you guys have got to plan his food hell. So now it gets interesting. We know Barry's lost and he's going to be facing his food hell, but who is going to win? So I've got one more chance. I'm up against James in a chef versus chef battle this time next Sunday to try and get points to beat you. Make sure you're subscribed, you don't miss it when it goes live and we will see you next week. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favorites.